So we're going to try to do a little bit of guide stuff with uh, GUIs to make a plot. And what we want to do is make a multi-pointed star. So we've actually done this in previous videos. If I want to set up a number of sides, I can say that. Um, I can call my thetas. It's going to be linearly spaced, starting at 0, going to 2 pi. And I want sides plus 1 because I want to come back to the beginning. Um, and we, we've gone through this logic before, um, a 1 by sides plus 1. And then if I go polar, theta r, then I'm going to get um, a value. Oh, beautiful. Come here. Do, 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 do. Oh, we could do it like that. There. Okay, that's not a star, but that's good enough. That's all I need for the moment. Okay, so I'm making a pentagon. So if I want to make 6, then there we go. Okay. So we want to have that code in our pocket for later. But now let's go ahead and type in guide. So we're going to type in guide, create a blank GUI, and we only are going to put in a plot. So we draw the plot, and then we're going to draw a button. Okay, and we talked about if we double click the button, we can change its background color, we can change all kinds of stuff about it. Um, we can change the fonts, make the font bigger. Um, we can change the text. So we can say, push the button. And we can change its kind of variable name, so we'll just call it main button. So the tag is now main button. So push the button, tag main button. Okay. And now we want to say, well, whenever I run push the button, I want it to do certain code. So I'm going to view the callback, and I'm going to go to the main callback. So I'm going to hit callback. And it's going to bring you to the code. Oh, I've actually got to save it. I'll call um, plotty thing. OK, so, so now it's going to open up. And this is the code that will happen whenever I press the button. So that's why it's called main button callback. Now it's got three properties that go into the function. And we can talk about that later. Um, Basically, the, the things that, that make the GUI work, handles is actually a big variable that contains everything I need to know about the function in general or about the, the GUI in general. We don't need that right now, and I don't want to get too crazy into this. So all I want you to do is take this code that we already corrected, corrected, created, and put it in here. So basically what I'm saying is that as, anytime I press this button, I want you to plot this point. And since there's only one um, plot thingy on our guide, it's automatically going to, um, going to go in and plot on that particular spot. So I'm going to save this. I'm going to close out my figure. And then I'm going to run it from here. So I'm going to run it from here. So here's plot thingy. When I push the button, it gives me a six-pointed star which is pretty cool. So there's a couple of things I can do to make this better. One thing is that it looks kind of funny whenever I run it because it looks like that and then eventually it's going to be a regular polar coordinate. So what I could actually do is before it gets started I could pre-plot something on it. So when I would do that I would do this in something called the opening function. So this is whenever the code is about or whenever the guide is opened um, I can actually tell it to do stuff when it opens it up. So one thing I do like to do is I like to put a CLC in that opening function because that does get rid of any other variables that are in my workspace that could mess up what I'm doing. Or, sorry, it doesn't do that. It clears out the command window so that if I have an error, I can find the error a little bit better. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to plot a 0, 0. I think this will work. And basically, I, let's see what happens if I do this before I get too excited. So there it goes. So the first thing it did is it plotted a point at 0, 0. So it gave us that polar coordinate system right away. Um, just so it didn't look so weird. And then whenever I push the button, the, the picture shows up. Pretty? Now another thing we might decide to do is go in and um, change the figure. So I'm going to right click the figure and I'm going to say opening guide. So what I'd actually like to be able to do is to change the number of sides that I have. So I can have an editable text box and a non-editable text box. So I have a static text. So on the static text, I'm going to make it say, enter the number of sides. Um, and I'm going to hit enter, because um, sometimes I have to hit enter for that to work. Enter the number of sides. OK. Now, edit text. I don't want it to say edit text. I want it to be blank whenever it shows up. And the tag is going to be num sides edit. So it's an editable thing for the number of sides. So I'm just calling it that for no reason. 
So num sides edit. So if I ever want to talk to this thing, you can see the tag down here. Whenever I want to talk to this thing, I'm going to talk to it as num sides edit. Beautiful? Okay. So then the next thing that I would like to do is now I'm going to come over here and I'm going to edit my code. So essentially what I want it to do is whenever I hit the button, I want it to go to that place and tell me what the value of it is. So the way I'm going to do that is with a get function. I'm going to say get. Um, I'm going to say get da, 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 handles dot um, whatever I called it. I already forgot. Num sides edit. Num sides edit. So I want to get what the string property is. Okay. Now I just want to see if that works. So I'm going to call this um, sides. That should be it. Um, and then I want to do so then I don't need that anymore. I think I'm doing this right. Why do I feel like something is weird? Get that, that. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty on board with that. So let's just see what happens whenever I run this. This might accidentally just work without thinking too hard. Now what I do want to do is I want to make sure that the plot is totally saved. So I might just save it and exit out of it um, so that I know that everything is perfectly synced up with each other. I don't know if it's strictly necessary, but that's okay. Um, and then I'm going to run it. If I put in a 5 here and I push the button, that's weird. <laughs> that's not what I expected it to be. Um, let's see. I know what's happening. Okay, so here's what's happening. is It's coming back as a string. So I'll bet you what I need to do is I need to... So this is like a text version of it. Um, I need to um, string to num it. I need to turn the string into a number so that it will actually... Um, Let's see if this works. So I'm going to save it again and get out of that. So a lot of times when things aren't working, if you just save it and close it and open it again, it gets fixed. String to num. Oops, come here. Do, do, do. And I'm going to say there's five sides. And I got a five-sided. And I can come in and I can change it to a six. And I got a six-sided. And I can change it to a 78. And I get a 78-sided. So that's pretty cool. So this is kind of one of the basic things that you can do. Probably for good um, practice, I would default put something in there because the way it is right now, if I, well, I don't know what it would do actually. Let's see what would happen if I just ran it with a zero in there. So if I just run it, it's going to come back with a zero, so it's not going to plot anything. Um, so actually, I don't really need to pre-put anything in there. So I'll just put in a four, and then I get a four-sided figure. So one of the things that's really cool about using um, about using GUIs is you have this really straightforward get and it also has like a sister function called set where I could set values but basically what get does is it goes to the number of sides edit box and it pulls what the string property is so if the string property is blank it'll come back as a zero or whatever it is um, but if it's an eight it'll come back as an eight it's stored as a string as text and so that's why I had to change it to a number and then once I did that then it worked relatively well